The following podcast topics are not for minor age listeners. Please take the time to skip to another podcast if your children are present. If you are an adult faint at heart or a victim, please be advised that discussions in this episode contain topics about SA and other conversations that may be triggering. Thank you. Welcome back to The Betrayed. This is Gina Beck. This is Drew Williams. Thank you for listening, liking, commenting, and subscribing. We appreciate y'all, especially all the reviews on Apple Podcasts. It really means a lot. Yeah, and like always, thank you again for the continued support, the continued engagement, the hashtag BananaCats, and a big thank you to the iHeartRadio listeners. How are you, Drew? I'm all right, G. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Excited to get into this podcast. I've been wanting to talk about this for since I heard about it. I, Oh, my gosh. This is insane news for anybody that follows or doesn't follow this um, page, Adventures with Purpose. The news that had come out about Jared, now we can exclude the other team members because you know you can't you can't say that they even knew about it. I mean, with the videos that are coming out, Josh and Doug and. Sam even came out with a video with his son, and his son told some stories, too. You can't, I see a lot of comments putting them at fault and blaming them, and, you know, until proven guilty, you can't really put blame on anyone, really, but Jared is the one that's charged. Want to say what his charges are? Yeah, uh, we have, and we're going to have all this stuff linked in the description, so you can see where we're, where our sources are and what we're getting. I actually got this from Reddit, which I think a lot of people do, but it was just a a public uh, data dump of legal documents out of Utah. And this is from the deputy county attorney, state of Utah versus Jared Lezik. Statement of probable cause. The defendant and the victim are cousins. In 1992, the victim was between 9 and 10 years old. The defendant is 7 years older than the victim. Just before November 1st in 1992, the victim lived in Ephraim, if I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry, which is located in San Pete County. About this time, the defendant and the victim were in the victim's bedroom. When the defendant pinned the victim to the ground, pulled her underwear down, put his penis in her vagina. During another incident that same year, the defendant and the victim were at their grandparents' house in Manti when the defendant did the same thing. And this was filed November 3rd of this year. Yeah, those are legal documents. So after hearing that, you know, people are, a lot of people are saying, where's the proof, right? Where's the proof? And this happened 30 some years ago, you know, it doesn't matter how long ago it happened. Uh, The statute of limitations in Utah, there is none now. And that should be everywhere. Honestly, that should be everywhere. There should be. There should be no time limit, the seven year, the eight year. That's so crazy. There should be no time limit because you still did it. And Jared, in the emails, pretty much admits, he admits, he admits to, it. to all of it. I mean, in the, he, yeah, he, he straight up says in the first sentence, like, I am so sorry, so very sorry for the things that we cannot change. First sentence. And the, all the emails are just, ugh. it's just, uh, imagine being talked to like that and her responses, man, it, I, I give her, I don't know. I, I give her props for even enduring that conversation because his, what he was saying, oh his... and, and then he was like, oh, if you're going to, if you're going to be rude or, you know, I'm not going to respond anymore. It's like like you have any control in this situation. And also saying, uh, unfortunately, your desire to have a 46-year-old male live the mistakes of a 12-year-old is simply not realistic. And first of all, he has ages wrong, which then questions, what did he do at 12? Right? What did he do at 12? If he's saying 12 because 
she straight up does the math in her email and she was nine or 10 living in Utah and he forced her, you know, to do things she didn't want to do. And he was older than 12 because he's six or so years older than her. So he's like 17, right? Yeah, he was 16, 17. And yeah. And it, and then her saying, oh, the grandparents knew, the family knew. And, and what is going on with the family? Because he also admits to the family knowing as well. And he says that he went through a lot of things with his cousins and all the cousins have done stuff. It's like, what is going on? And when they all go to court because of all these people being labeled in these emails, all these cousins are going to be in court, correct? I assume like all these family members that are in here that know this information, are they going to be a part of this? Do we know if they get subpoenaed or something like that from, from the court, definitely they're going to have mm -hmm. to, to some degree. That would be interesting to see, right? Like, that would be interesting to see. Man, because of all these people know. Because he says straight up, he said, it, it is unfortunate when families like ours experience, the, um, you know, Break. molestation. And so, yeah, he said molestation, his word. So it's like a lot of people in his family have experienced that. And he tries to say, you know, were us and the cousins agreed to not let this continue so it's like y'all had uh long conversations about this from per jared right he, per jared in those responses i mean yeah he technically takes he takes blame for doing it but it's just like his whole attitude if you I mean you'll see him when you read them it, it just feels like Oh, that it was just something that happened. You know, you got to get over it. You know, I'm I'm not the I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. it'd be one thing if you're talking about like, yeah, I I hit you with one something one time when I you were nine years old and you're holding on to it. But like this is mm. this is first degree felony rape of a child, and like you said, the age differences, and then mm -hmm. like you bringing up the uh, how he recounts and tries to act like he was twelve years old. It's like, did you actually do something to her when she was even younger? That's what I thought when I when I saw the dis the oh the the differences yeah. in the ages and stuff like that. I'm like, is there more abuse that maybe she's already blocked out? Because if then, he was twelve, if he was twelve, how old would she be? She would have been five if there's a seven year difference. Isn't that what and, they said? Right, and so isn't there? It isn't it like fact that five and under i think six and under don't even recall memory is that fact? that's or that's not fact but th that's a that's a theory um there's there's evidence that theory. goes both okay. ways but you you do uh your memory is not as good so right like she could not even yeah yeah so right so she could not even remember that what you were saying that or there's a whole nother person out there that he interacted with at 12 you know either or it's just it seems like there's a lot a lot that people don't know a lot that she doesn't even know through his emails and saying how just everybody has been involved in things like this so there there's some i bet you there's some insane insane things that have went on that is not even known and hopefully comes out and people can more people can continue to get closure because allegedly the sister is also a victim and that's also going to be linked in the description on where that information can be found but per her facebook um i guess people found her facebook and she was communicating with people on there and making statuses and and she pretty much says her side on her facebook will link the video where you can see you know word for word what she said and you know just make your decision yourself but i feel like if, if once the cousin comes out this <clears throat> this is all, all always a domino effect more people will come out and even more after the sister could come out we have no idea something else that i wanted to mention is they're definitely like there's not a lot of there's ah, how do i say this so People are attacking 
the victim, right? The cousin. They're attacking her because they love Jared so much. And people are saying, oh, it's a money grab. Like she just wants money or this or that. Now, something that you got to put into perspective, perspective is from what I gather, if she just sees him out here claiming the title of a hero, it's even, it, that's even, you know, been said in places and he's helping all of these families and he's around all of these families. He's around these families' children. And if you've even watched Adventures with Purpose in their videos, he he mics up people. Um, I guess he didn't in the beginning, but he does now. And, you know, it's shown on video of him coercing uh, some children to say some things during an emotional time. And it just shows that he's around the, these families' children, you know, and that's what she cared about is what I gather is she cared about him claiming to be the hero and being around all these families. And, you know, when you're in a position like Jared is your people will open their home far and wide for you. And so this information coming out, it, like we always say, you never know who it is and people with the biggest platforms have a lot of victims, you know, because they're all just there and they love this person so much. And a lot of things don't get believed. Even after all this, a lot of people don't believe this stuff. And even after Jared goes through court and whatever happens through court, they're still not going to believe it. <laughs> so, you know, that's why people need to push this information far and wide and just, you just don't support predators. Don't support predators, especially when the facts are out there. I think when you look at the videos from the team already and there's there's so many not only do you have the actual sexual abuse victims which is just I can't imagine living through decades with family ignoring that and or or just looking the other way oh, not yeah. wanting to address it but then you have I mean Adventures with Purpose had some very serious positive momentum they were helping you know families get closure and like i think we were talking before we pushed record you're saying there's up to like 30 other uh, dives where they helped you know find bodies or find the end you know closing people's chapters so the families can you know find some type of peace to try and move on in their life and all that stuff i mean we just talked for the last 10 minutes is all covered up because of this guy's i mean he's he's only got to be two types of people he's either a he thinks he knows what he did was 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 monstrous and he uh has used that to try and make amends with his past by doing this other stuff and maybe that's what he thinks in his head like i did all this other good doesn't it cover up the bad but it's like no dude you're a predator or this guy is still a serial predator allegedly which would be my guess he still is. So how many other victims are we talking about? And when did he stop? Because if he was, you know, around 17 doing this, that, you know, when did it stop? Well, that's what you I mean. Is like, it's like, Cause that if, 17, if, oh, if, if it did, right. If, when did it stop? If it did. Yeah. And that's, yeah. Especially when you put ages into play, that's like, wow. Yeah. And he's obviously into, or at least at one point as a late teen, he was into prepubescent children, which did that carry on through his life? I just have so many questions with people. Like you said, he has access to so many people because they, they see him as a hero, arms welcome, you know, doors open type of feel. Is he, right. is he, and he says in the emails that he's he's been through it. He says in the emails that he's been through it. So if he's been through it, it's just even like he just passed he passed it on and he just continued the trauma and then he had kids and decided oh i should just be this hero now and you know because i he watched this that video and he's had multiple yeah right <laughs> he says a lot of bad things in the emails you guys should definitely if you have not seen the emails for yourself there's going to be a link in the description where you can see all of that information it's 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 crucial information to see if you're a fan of them, for sure. I mean, if you support them, you need to see this stuff. 
It's very disappointing because, yeah, they, like you said, had a lot of momentum and they were going far. And, like, uh, their videographer, Josh, and Doug, and Nick, they've made videos so far. If you guys want to see their response on it, if you haven't yet. Did you know that Jared had multi-million dollar businesses before this? Oh, yeah. he's That whole family is one of those, like, very typical, successful Mormon Utah family type things. Where they... You know, oh yeah hard okay. working hard working so you knew type this. people definitely he's been doing one thing after another for all these years and this is his latest thing right is adventure of the purpose and um he has like a website i'm pretty sure it's his name.com and it just has this whole um pretty much his life story on there he leaves out all, all the bad stuff obviously but it, it, it shows on there like, oh, I, I'm not afraid to tell the truth. You can ask me anything and I'll tell you the truth. And da da da, da. Which someone who's an ex-Adventures with Purpose member admitted that he had said that he had some troubles when he was younger, but he was not specific. And now this comes out. So he lied because he said that in his emails that the office knew and like, you know, still supported him. So it's just, it's, it's crazy how much he like will say the truth, but leave a lot out and then blatantly lie. It's just crazy. It just shows his character. And there's a video he's worked with Patty Mayo and Patty Mayo, if you don't know, he's, a bounty hunter like it's more for like entertainment though because it's it's not real right allegedly it's not real the i think they're all set stuff. up i think they're all it i think they're all fake right it's more for show right and so <clears throat> ex-members have said that jared treats adventures with purpose the same way like a show and has said who has gotten mad at camera people for missing the quote-unquote money shot of someone crying you know, during emotional times. <clears throat> so that just shows his drive and it shows his character and it shows what he's really doing this for and relatable to what we do and have done with the hunting community, the predator hunting community. I mean, you never know who these guys are at the end of the day. These guys are not getting background checks. These guys are just uploading YouTube videos, you know, and even if they did get a background check, your past can be hidden for 30 some years, just like Jared's until it's loud enough for everybody to hear. And this girl, I guess has been trying to get this information out for a long time. So I don't want, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't want to take up any more of anybody, anybody's time. There's tons of information out there on this stuff. We just wanted to give our opinion because <laughs> I don't know. I followed these guys and I was just, I, my mouth dropped when I seen this information. I just, it sucks when you, it's so disappointing when you support people and then this comes out, but this just goes back to what we've said. It can be anyone, you guys, it can be literally anyone. And if you're a fan, you just need to know how to disconnect. Okay. They don't deserve your, Jared does not deserve support, but you His can go support leaving. the other team members. Yeah, you can go support the other team members who do deserve the support. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for listening, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Any questions or anything you guys want to say or anything you guys want to hear, let us know in the comments. Check out the links in the description for all of the other information on this stuff. It's very crucial if you're a fan. Thank you so much, you guys. I love you guys. Banana cats. Banana cats. Much love. Peace.